Hello guys, we are still talking about what is trending in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, let me also wish you a happy new week. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Alright, uh, we already know what is trending. I'm talking about Peter Obi movement. Now, I don't know where to start, but let me begin from somewhere. This is a moment a man was shedding tears, crying after meeting one-on-one -on -one with Peter Obi. Yes, we had a story of a lady who, um, a young girl who withdrew all her life savings. When he heard Peter Obi on a live radio, rushed down to the radio station because it was close to her place. It was close to her house. So she ran to meet Peter Obi, donated her life savings to Peter Obi movement. I mean, looking at other politicians, who does that? Rather, people need from those politicians. People want to take from them. Nobody have opportunity unless you fill a lot of forms, you go through a lot of protocol before meeting these people. But Peter B is accessible to everyone. I mean, that is the kind of person the masses want. Not as if these men don't know that Nigerians love Peter B. Not as if they don't love Peter B themselves. But they want power. Nigerian politician wants to hold on to power by fire, by force. This is more like a Hollywood movie, what we see. Peter B is not only a politician, like seriously, he's also a celebrity. People see him as a messiah because according to this man, according to this young man shedding tears, it's as if the man have already seen changes. It's as if the man have seen the Messiah, the chosen one. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Nobody, no politicians have ever received such accolade. Rather, you see them on a private jet. The highest you see them is to be waving hands on the masses and the masses, those support group. All those masses you see there, not as if they are um, people who support them. They are just support group mixture of all these groups, uh, people who come together, form a group, uh, we will support you, take some kind of form, uh, we are part of support group, so that at the end of the day, um, 50,000, 100,000 will go to the support group. Sometimes I look at people telling me that um, they go to the airport to receive um, a prominent politician. At the end of the support group, when they share money, they end up getting to 2,000 Naira. I mean, People's parents, people's uncle, youth. Why? 2,000 Naira. You have a support group, maybe 20 persons going to welcome a, uh, a prominent politician or maybe a governor or whatsoever so that at the end of the day, 50,000 will enter your pocket. Just like what will go on in this election. Everybody is having support group from what I heard. People are forming support group to support a particular candidate. Why? At the end of the day, what do you stand to gain when they share that money? Nothing more than 3,000 Naira. But this is a man, a young lady donated her own life savings just to support the movement. I've never heard, I've never seen anybody who does that to any other politicians. Rather, they want to take from the politician because they believe politicians eat public money. Politicians are the one in charge. I was chatting with uh, somebody when people were talking about Peter B, and the guy was like, he prefers to take the 5,000 Naira at the polling unit and vote for that party, the party or the candidate that gives him the money, rather than voting Peter B, that he knows that Peter B is a good man, the man, the right person for the job. But just because he wants to get the 5,000 Naira at that particular point, that the 5,000 Naira will solve his immediate problem. Now, this is the common mentality of the youth, the common mentality of what politicians have subjected the youth to. Yes, but things have changed. That is what I've seen. Things have changed. All right, guys, I quickly want to share this um, adorable moment where this young man here had to shed tears just for him seeing Peter Obi. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.